Ready? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. <gasps> well, hello everybody, and welcome to a brand new thing I'm doing here. Uh, we are going to be playing a brand new game called Besiege, and uh, yeah. So I know I haven't done Minecraft in a little while. Uh, don't worry, it's not going away. I haven't given up. Uh, I have been playing a lot of Destiny, and I've been really busy, and I just happened to have, oh, excuse me, I had a little spare time tonight to record an episode, and I've been playing this game, and I was like, you know what, there's a lot of people that need to see this game, because it's really good. Uh, so we're going to take a look at it. It's called Besiege. Uh, so yeah, and I'm going to try and upload this at 60 frames per second, so you guys can get all that goodness, 1080p good stuff. Alright, so this is an early access game on Steam and uh, I believe it's around $6. Uh, it's it's pretty um, limited right now. So, um, right now we only have one area right here that we're allowed to do. And then there's also a sandbox thing here that you can kind of go in and just do whatever you want to. Kind of like a creative mode or whatever in Minecraft. I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Yeah, it's the beauty of the arm. It can go wherever you want it to go. This is the best thing that's ever happened to me uh, when it comes to recording. I've had better things in my life than a microphone arm. All right, let's get started before I talk my way into a pit that I will never get out of. All right, so let's start with Ypsilon. So you just come on in. Okay, and you've got different areas here to pick from. We'll start at the beginning. Basically, the whole idea here is that you're going to want to build a contraption that will complete the objective. Uh, so right now, my objective is to destroy this house. And I'm given a block, and um, it's got uh, kind of like a uh, an interesting kind of way of interacting. So like right click would be to move things around, center click would be to pan. Uh, and then you can scroll to zoom in and out, and then left click would be to place, you have R for rotate, and then um, certain objects can be flipped. So like if I put a wheel on there, you can see the direction is, is coming this way. I can hit F and it'll now turn the opposite way. Um, and then hover over and press X to delete. And so yeah, so it's telling me first build some wooden blocks onto the source cube. So um, I would imagine I could build it any way I want, but we're going to go ahead and follow the directions and kind of build it like this. Am I doing this right? Did I already screw it up? No, that's right. Yeah. Okay. My brain's playing tricks on me. Okay, so we got that part done. Pretty simple. Uh, next, select some wheels and attach them wherever you please. So, we could put some wheels right here. And... Yeah. Okay. Looks good. And they are turning the correct way. Good. So these are powered wheels, so all I'm gonna have to do is press forward. You can kind of hover over it. See? Uh, sorry. Uh, up is forward, back is backwards. You can use F to flip a wheel when hovering over it, which I already showed you guys. Uh, let's go to the next thing here. Place your machine on the ground with this button, which is located right here. Good. Okay. We are on the ground. Good job. And then you can press the play button and then accelerate using the forward and back buttons. You can also use spacebar as well. So we'll do spacebar and go for it. Shazam! Right? What a great game. It gets better. It gets better. It gets interesting. Let's go to the next level. Let's see what we got. Alright, up next, I need to destroy this thing. So... I wonder... How would I just... I can't just go. If I just go... Oh, maybe I can. Can I get it? Come on, little buddy. Oh. Come on. I just killed a chicken. Sorry, bud. I can't steer. Hmm. Okay, let's reset. Let's add... Let's add some structure to this thing. Hmm. And then maybe... Okay. Let's build a catapult. 
You wanna you wanna build a catapult? And we'll just launch it into this thing? Let's see here. Uh to build a catapult, I'm going to need some of this stuff here. Uh steering hinge. Where is it? Oh here. A hinge. So we'll put a hinge like that. And then put a little block up here. Excuse me. <clears throat> and then uh, let's do this. And let's do one more. And then, whoa, what did I just? Did I, how did I? Huh. Yeah, so I don't know where that other one went. I think that was an accident. Okay, so we've got that. Oh, I put something right there. That was interesting. Never seen that before. Uh, so there are some bugs. Like, obviously I shouldn't be allowed to place a block there. Um, so if I were to let this go, this thing would just kind of... Like that, okay? Uh, and it's not very sturdy. So we can use some of these braces. And we'll just do kind of like a, uh, this is like a click and drag situation. So like you click, drag, release, click, drag, release, and you can do the same thing here. Click, drag, release, click, drag, release. Good. So now it's a little more sturdy. Um, and we may want to add... Like, we notice this is a little flimsy, and we're going to have some stuff on it, too, so it's going to be even more flimsy. So let's do a brace like that, and a brace like that. There, see? No more flimsy. Um, I think I can... How did I... Oh, yeah. So like this, and I can move it up, just so you can kind of get a better idea of... Yeah, so there's... that's good. Okay. Um, that was just to see if it's bouncing around too much. Um, so... A catapult needs some suspension, right? So let's put a spring and let's go from here... to there. Okay, so that looks good. So now you can see, um, you hold L. So, I can see that. Shoom. Oh yeah. And then if we counterbalance that with, uh, where is it? Oh, weapons. Okay, so we get like a little bowl thing here. And then let's do a, uh, we'll save this. That's coming. Uh, let's just go ahead and do a normal boulder right now. Intersect. Oh, it's too tall. Hmm. Well, poop. Okay, I, I fix and I come right back. I fix and I come right back. <laughs> okay, I fixed. I turned off bounding box right here. I just turned it off. We don't worry. We're not gonna worry about that. So we're just gonna put the boulder right there, and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're like that. Good. Let's see where we get with this. Oh goodness. Oh gosh. We are not nearly heavy enough. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so close. <laughs> Try to get. Hi. Nope. You scared of me now, buddy? Oh, what if we did this? What if we... <laughs> I come for you. I'm coming for you. Okay. Move slowly. And then... Hey, hey! No? Okay. We need a little more weight on the front end. So let's, uh... Let's do this. Let's, um... You can put, uh... Like this. Maybe double that up. What the? Oh, how do we? Okay, okay, okay. So we're getting there. So maybe if we just do this and we kind of move forward a little bit. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Good. Oh. <laughs> this is dangerous. Uh, can you imagine this guy coming up on you? Okay, L. Oh, you... Dang it. Okay. Here we go. Bam! 
Do we do it? Oh! I turn off the bounding box and that means I can't... I can't progress. Prevents level progression. Okay. Let me... Yeah, I see that bullish sticking up. Um... Is there a way to do this without... Destroying the whole thing? Okay. I'll fix, and I'll come right back. I promise. Okay. I think we got it. So it's lower now. Uh, let's see how this... Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we can put a brace. We can do a brace. We can put a brace... Like... Uh... We can do... Something like... Uh... That. And then maybe... Just go straight up with this one. These can intersect. Oh, that's a good idea. That was an accident, but we just kind of do like a little triangle thing. Triangles are very good when you're building things. I don't know if you knew that. Um, you know, architecture stuff. Um, and then maybe, you know, you want this thing to be sturdy. You don't want it flip-flopping around. Let's see how that does. Much better, much better. Okay, let's zoom out and see what kind of... Oh, you... Okay, so we need to- we, we're gonna move in. Stealth. Stealth-like. Excuse me, sir. I believe this boulder is for you. Hi! Here we go. Here we go. Hi. Huh. Huh. Nailed it! Alright, so here we are. Okay, this is- this is more of a traversing situation here. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start clear. We're gonna start from the beginning here. Destroy machine, yes. Bye! Um, okay, so let's build, we're gonna build a car. So the, the point is to get to this area up here. Okay, so we're gonna, hi, whoa, jeez. Cool it, cool it, chill. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Um, okay, and, and that. Yeah, we'll just do it, we'll do a tiny car. We'll do a little itty bitty. So then we need like steering wheels, right? Okay, so we, these are steering mechanisms, like that. Um, the arrows uh, indicate that there is there is power that you can control with the left and right arrows. Uh, the arrow keys, not W A S D, uh, that's used for panning. Okay, um, and so I think that looks good. Now, one thing I noticed, like you can put wheels like this. Okay, so let's. Let's do something like that. Okay, and that's fine. Like, let's, you know, ta-da, ta -da, we can drive around. It's very nice. Um, or, since these wheels are powered, let's double it up. Technically double the wheels, right? Double the power. Super speed! Oh. Okay. So we're going to, uh, kind of get a straight shot here, a good point of view. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh my good. Oh goodness. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, it's okay. You're fine. We're just gonna maneuver through here. Okay, what's the best way to get through this section? Oh, hey. This is so violent. This is so violent. Okay, uh, here we go, here we go. Oh, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hey -ya! Do you like my little, uh, e-brake slide in there? Yeah, it's pro move. Destroy, destroy. Uh, but it looks as though I have myself a little, uh, problem here. Okay, look, so here's a bomb sitting here, so I can just hit that with a rock. And then... Just go in and make these these guys' lives miserable. Okay, so I need to make a rolling catapult, I would assume. Or, no, I don't need to do that. I can just hit that with a cannon. Oh, 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 yes. This is gonna be good. We're gonna put this on the ground. Go to our weapons. Check this out. Shazam! C for cannons. Dunzo! Dunzo! I'm just gonna come around here and I'm just gonna go ahead and uh... Whoa! Let's see where I am here. Okay, let's back it up. 
Back it up, back it up. My mama taught me well. Here we go. Oh, don't. If you turn too far, you'll destroy your thing. It'll just, like, rip itself apart. Let's. Yeah! Okay. Can I. Oh! Whoa! Oh no. Oh, there go the wheels. Okay, and we're done. Here we go. See! Boom. You're dead. You're dead. Let's go this way. We're gonna go this way this time. Um. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna hit this guy. Good, good. And come around. Oh. Mm, it, it, uh, these, these are not easy to control. Come on, get up there, but yeah, yeah. Oh, armies, huh? I see how it is. Okay. You know what this calls for? We've got armies on on each side. What's the goal here? Kill 90% of everybody. Okay. Okay. I got an idea. We'll get rid of this bad boy. And, uh, go to our weapons. And, um, let's- actually, no, let's build this out. We're gonna make this interesting. We're gonna make this real interesting. Um... Let me- let me build something, and I'll- I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Alright. So here's the thing. Uh, this is what I, I like to lovingly call the death machine. Um, so... Basically, we have, uh, saw blades that are going to spin around this way, saw blades that are going to spin around this way, and then we also have flamethrowers. Oh, and it's mobile. So it's just gonna, you know, it's gonna cause panic. Uh, so let's see what happens when I... Uh, let's see, uh, I think it's Y is for the flamethrowers, is that right? I can turn on, yeah, Y for flamethrowers, up and down to move forward, left and right to steer. I think that's all I have to do, everything else is gonna take care of itself. Alright. Here we go. Do we have any archers? No, these are all spear guys. Oh no, these are archers over here. I don't need to worry about them. They're all going down anyways. Okay, reset the camera, here we go. Ready? Oh my gosh, look at this thing. <gasps> look at the saw blades! Oh my gosh. That was amazing. That was complete mayhem. Let's do that one again. Let's do that one again. Uh... Okay, so you can just hit spacebar to try it again. Uh, I want to see if I can reach those guys in the back. Here we go. Coming for you. <laughs> Push through! <laughs> I just catch on fire before I can uh, even get there. Oh my gosh. I'd say it's effective. I think it works. Wouldn't you say? I mean, you guys kind of get the gist of the stuff. We can do more of these in another episode. Let me know if you guys want more episodes, but before we go, I want to show you guys some other things in the creative world that I've built that I think are actually kind of fun. Um, and then maybe showcase some things that other people built. You can download other people's projects and play around with them in here. So uh, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and let me know if you guys want more of these episodes with this game. All right? Uh, but let's keep going. All right, we're going to go... We're gonna exit out of here. Uh, level select main menu. Okay. And we're gonna go to the sandbox. And basically it's gonna load up this test world. Oh cool, it takes our thing with us. That's nifty. So you've got this test world here. And uh, lots of different things you can do. So there's like a little um, pasta machine over here. There's anti-gravity and super gravity platforms. Um, there's some dudes over here. There's some villages, a uh, castle to practice on, all kinds of stuff. Some oil that will dump on you and catch you on fire. Some wind machines, lots of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and load up some things that I've done. Um, okay, so I wanted to build a flying machine. And I tried lots of different things, so I think my one of my first ones was this one. Uh, so let's load this guy up, and let's see how he does. Oh, not too bad. 
Uh, and then I put some, so you notice it's turning. If you hit O, it activates those side things and will counteract that movement. Oh, this is going well. Nope, not going well anymore. Oh goodness. Okay. So that's, that was one of my attempts, uh, to create a flying machine. Uh, here's another one. Okay. This one utilizes balloons for extra buoyancy. And, uh, it does not have a counterweight. I noticed that, um, if you stack these spinners, they will actually start, uh, helping each other out. And just pop all the balloons. That's good. This one is nice because you never actually crash land. You, you very nicely land on the ground upside down. You know, but if you hit a bomb, then there's a problem. Uh, but you know, that's not my fault. Um, so the more of these you have on, the faster this top one is going to spin. Uh, so I was kind of messing around with that and just seeing how that was going. Then I kind of looked at some other ones online and figured out how to make a stabilizing propeller. And so, uh, I think that's what I want to show next. Oh no, there's this one. This one's fun. Um, it looks a little more like a helicopter, right? And I kind of played around w with, uh, the, uh, the flowering thing or whatever. Um, so that it gets wider as it goes out. And I put some wings on it, you know, because wings are cool. Uh, so let's see how this one goes. Let me pop that balloon, okay. Not bad. Okay, we can do the O thing to stabilize. Oh. And down she goes. And bombs. Cool. So, obviously I was having trouble with the flying machines. But, you can use... Um, okay, so here's one that I actually modeled off that somebody else had done. This is a very uh, dumbed-down version of it. Um, but basically what we have going on here, if I can get in here close enough for you guys to see, let me get something that's not intrusive when you're looking at it. Okay, so you've got spinners here and here, actually three on top of each other. When you do that, uh, this middle one will stay stationary. Um, and so you can actually create uh, opposing spin patterns. I don't know what I'm talking about. So like the top one spins one direction and the bottom one spins another direction. And then I have these uh, steering motors tied to the end. And so I can actually control whether it goes up or down because I'm actually controlling the blades doing this as well. Um, so it might be better if I just showed you. Okay, here we go. So um, let's start it up and you'll see. Well, okay. There we go. Uh, so you see it takes off perfectly level. It's not teetering or doing anything like that. But then I can, if I hit left, you'll see that I take off even and more. And if I hit right, then I can, I can land it. Assuming I don't land on uneven ground. So let's kind of, I can't steer it though. That's the only problem. Uh, it also has a bomb on top of it. So let's go ahead and take off again and drop the bomb. There you go. Kill a sheep, you know. So that one's kind of cool. This is this is amazing. This guy right here, he's a trooper. Uh, he's got cannons for hands. He's got a jetpack. These are his little weighted butt cheeks here. <laughs> and then uh, he's got um, uh, propellers, but they're not alternating, so they don't really keep him steady. But he's fun for the time being. So let's set him on the ground. He can do a little jump up into the air, fire his cannons. Oops, didn't do that right. Okay, so he jumps up in the air, does the cannons. <laughs> And jetpack and crash and burn. It's great. Hours of entertainment. Look at this guy. Go, buddy, go. Goodness. Oh, where are we going? Sometimes the camera leaves, it just goes off. It just leaves. Um, haven't figured that one out yet. Uh, but real quick before we go, let's take a look at some of the stuff that other people have built. Um, here is a gunship. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is the one I modded, uh, modeled my helicopter after. So if you take a look at it, this one actually has landing gear on it, which is pretty crazy. Okay, so yeah, you can uh, take off a little bit. Yeah, put the landing gear up. You see that? Oh, I lost a landing gear. And then you control it with the number pad, so they've remapped this thing. Yep, so there's me moving that way. You move that way. There you go. Yeah, you can kind of... Okay, so that's like left and right. Turn left. Turn right. Move forward. Move backwards. 
pretty crazy, right? And then you can actually drop bombs. One, two, three. Oh, crash and burn. Okay. Uh, so yeah, it takes a little practice with the piloting stuff, uh, but that's okay. Uh, and then one last one before we go. This one's amazing. I call it the snake. You ready for this? Look at this thing. Yeah, right. Check this out. You ready? So O for speed. And you can control this thing. Oh yeah. Turn. Oh, I'm losing it. There we go. Look at this thing. Yeah, right. How do you even figure that out? I don't... I don't know. Oh gosh. I'm gonna crash into the ground. And look at this thing. Isn't that crazy? Dude, I don't know how somebody figured that out, but that's... That's incredible. So yeah, there's a lot this game can do. Let me know in the comments uh, if you guys like this and if you want to see more. I would love to do more. I'm really enjoying this game. And it's just starting. It looks like there's a lot of possible updates. And so uh, I would love to see what they come up with. And hopefully we can do some more of these videos. Like I said, Minecraft will be back. I just got to find the time. And uh, not a lot has happened. So it's not like you guys are missing anything. But we'll make sure and, uh, and get some stuff going again. So, I heard Josh Jones is working on some cool stuff. We'll see. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe this video if you haven't already. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you can get more channel updates. And I will see you guys next time. Fultron, out.